Do you love hiking and beer? We've got day trip worthy excursions and the tastiest way to explore Chicago and beyond. It is all in the guidebook, Beer, Hiking, Chicago and Beyond. And authors, are, authors excuse me, Jessica Sedgwick and Dan Aqua join us to highlight a few that'll get you outdoors and to a destination brewery. Guys, thanks for being here. Hi, thanks Thank for having us. us. Yes. Okay, so you guys are living your life during the pandemic. <laughs> it happens and now all of a sudden we're hiking and going yeah. to breweries. Yeah. Like, how did this all start? It, I mean, it did. It just kind of happened. We're yeah. married 22 years. Oh, That's wow. Correct. Yep. That's you don't correct. look old enough to be married that long. <laughs> yeah, I know. Rowdy <laughs> points for Gene. <laughs> <laughs> and so this, and this just kind of happened out of the pandemic. We were looking for stuff to do to get out of yeah. the house. And she did all the research um, yep. and really got us moving. In, mm -hmm. Yeah, I read an article and a publisher who does a beer hiking series in other places in the U.S. that are a little more like appropriate for hiking or yes. a little bit more exciting for hiking. They reached out to us and thought, you know, ask, could we do a Chicago version? And I, I said, I, I think so. Yeah, <laughs> there might be a lot of repetitive hikes, a lot of prairie walks. But once we really thought about it, we thought we figured out there are some diverse hiking opportunities. We kind of had to do some research, but we were yeah. excited to see what we could do with this area. What I love is that you thought of two groups of people, people that are enthusiastic. <laughs> Enthusiasts about hiking and people that love beer and of yeah. course we have so many great craft breweries here yep. in the area and you combine the two and to me that's perfect that's a perfect it's pairing natural yep yeah. yep you could be sweaty when you go you reward yourself <laughs> yeah. for doing like you know real activities it's perfect yeah and and also oh, yeah, I, I was gonna mention that the, the books are so much different than the other ones because we we did focus on the city hikes and yes. the suburbs and a lot of the other ones in the series oh. they're they don't you know, go into the city as much. And I love it. It's the graphics are beautiful. Like there's maps. I mean, it really is a guidebook. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's all yep. broken down so nicely. And one of them, speaking of suburbs, yep. you talk about in Naperville, and you have one of the beers here that you can stop at along the way. Yep, yep. We're gonna taste that. And um, we also, so we went into the city, and then we also went to uh, five hikes in um, outside for day trips. So you want to talk about Warren Dunes? We did, yeah, Warren Dunes in Michigan for that one. Yeah. And then um, in the city, we did Palmasano Park for an example of just the city park where you're showing like how they're, you know, changing, yeah. rechanging the spaces. It used to be a quarry and now it's this beautiful green space. And we're looking and at footage right now of Warren Dunes just there. Uh, I mean, it's an award-winning yeah. natural site. And I love that you've picked, you know, really beautiful natural places like this um, that's all about kind of nature. Yeah. But then you also have the city walks too, which yeah. are a little bit more of an urban, mm -hmm. Yeah, know. so that was important to us. I've seen Chicago hiking books that, you know, are called Chicago hiking, but they don't actually feature hiking in the city <laughs> right. limits. It's all about the suburbs, which we know about, right? But we really right. wanted to showcase what's in the city because the city has done some really cool things to create nature green spaces out of something that used to be something else. So like Paul Masano, he mentioned used to be a quarry and now they've turned it in in Bridgeport to a gorgeous, you know, um, green space, a beautiful view of the city. So we really wanted to incorporate some city hikes as well as the suburban ones. Very cool. Okay, what is this Snaggletooth, the mm -hmm. bandana? A, yeah. I, yeah, this is my favorite uh, beer. Okay. So that's why I had to include it. And it yeah. was, let's find a hike to get this Should we this give bandana. it a try here? <laughs> yeah. All right. But it's very, it's very hoppy. I like like, you know, I want to taste a Christmas tree when I drink a beer. So. Oh. Very tiny, very dank. <laughs> and you'll, oh, sorry, go ahead. I was yeah. just going to say, you'll find this along the Riverwalk in Naperville. Yeah, yep. mm -hmm. yeah close well, by. Close yeah. by, yeah. yeah. Most, most of the breweries are a very close drive. Yeah, or, a short okay. drive. In yeah. the city, awesome. some of them are walkable. It was hard for us to find something where that you end up directly at a brewery, so all of them are within a they, short drive. But, um, they Snag also have a tap room, Salamoth, in Chicago. Yeah, yeah. Cool. We're going to have an event Cheers. there on the 19th oh, just to nice. talk about the book. Yeah. That's and cool. Drink some beer. I'm excited for you guys. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> this is delicious. My question is once you've um, enticed me to walk and go on this hike with you, and we get to the brewery, and then I've had a couple of pints. <laughs> How do we get home? That's my uh, question. Do we walk are, back uh, home? There are yeah. transportation. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Have you heard yeah, of Uber? We do. <laughs> but we do put suggestions in there. We do put public transportation do we, in there. We do. Yeah. We awesome. encourage people to drink a lot of water while they're there. I personally love, most tap rooms do a five ounce pour, a ten gotcha. ounce pour. Yeah. So I order those. You can try a few. Right. It's a tasting. I love it. You thought right. of everything. The there book you go. is great. It's yes. so easily to read and to understand. It's awesome. Love it. Thank you, Dan and Jessica. Head to bookshop.org to buy the book and then also follow them on their social media. That way you can uh, find out more about their event coming up, too. Thank you. Thanks again. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank, Thank you. you.